Antichrist is anyone who is against Christ, hence Antichrist. And there have been many Antichrists. But in the last days, there will arise one leader who will come on the scene in power, deceiving the nations. And this is who we're referring to. In the scriptures, he's been prophesied about many different books by many different names. In Daniel, he's called the prince that shall come, a fierce king, a master of intrigue, a despicable man. In Zechariah, he's called a worthless shepherd. In 2 Thessalonians, he's called the one who brings destruction, the lawless one, the evil man. In Revelation, he's called the beast. And in 1 and 2 John, he's called the Antichrist. And we get a good picture of him and what he looks like when he's coming on the scene. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 3 through 4 and 9 through 12. It says, Let no one deceive you in any way, for that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first. And the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction, who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called God or object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. Verse 9, The coming of the lawless one is by the activity of Satan, with all power and false signs and wonders. And with all wicked deception for those who are perishing, because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. Therefore God sends them a strong delusion, so that they may believe what is false, in order that all may be condemned who did not believe the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. As Satan is the master deceiver, so will be the Antichrist, deceiving the nations. Um, he is Satan's mouthpiece. He is Satan's Superman, as some would say. So, who is he? Many have speculated over history, seeking to identify the Antichrist. And people have sought to link him with historical figures such as Roman emperors Nero and Domitian, um, both who severely persecuted Christians and claimed to be deities of uh, demanding worship. Um, in more recent times, Adolf Hitler was commonly thought to be the Antichrist, as well as Joseph Stalin. Um, on the other hand, many Protestants since the Reformation, especially those who were persecuted by the Catholic Church, have thought one or another of the popes could have been the Antichrist. And, uh, and in our time now, people speculate whether um, the current president of the United States is the Antichrist. Well, to this point, all of these have proved false. Um, but they, they could have all been Antichrist. Uh, First John tells us, uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 18 says, Children, it is the last hour. And as you have heard, that Antichrist is coming. So now, many Antichrists have come. Therefore, we know that it is the last hour. Chapter 4, verse 3 says this, Every spirit that does not confess Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard was coming, and now is in the world already. So even if these previous per, uh, persecutors of the church were not the Antichrist, many of them have been precursors to the final Antichrist. So the question then is, um, is he alive now? Is, is the final Antichrist, is he alive right now? Well, he could be. And I, I think he is. I think that all the signs are pointing to that Jesus is coming soon. And Jesus said there would be many signs before that day. So uh, he could be alive right now, the Antichrist. Um, he's smart. Um, he's at the top of his class. Um, he's good looking and he's popular. Um, and he's proceeding in life in every way necessary to allow him to inconspicuously rise to power. And he will rise to power. There's no, there's no stopping that. But whoever he is, Whenever he rises to power, we have no need to fear because we know his end. 2 Thessalonians 2.8 says this, And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will kill with the breath of his mouth and bring to nothing by the appearance of his coming. All questions aside, we can know this. In the end... Sin will be judged, saints will be glorified, and Jesus is King.
Are you ready? Yeah.